Rick Holland said, the world belongs to those who read. But the million dollar question is, what to read? Depending on your expertise in English, you can fall into one of the two categories. You are either a beginner whose major pain is verbal ability section. English is your biggest nightmare. You feel shy to talk in English because you have this constant feeling of goofing up in front of people. Or you are at intermediate level. That means you are not consistent with your performance in this section. You understand everything but still are afraid that you might get questions wrong. Speaking in English requires a little effort but overall you are comfortable with the language. You are average, not too bad, not too good. The expert category is not there because if you confidently and not overconfidently, if you confidently feel that you are pretty good at it, then this video will not be of much help to you. In fact, you should be focusing on other sections. If you are a beginner, then the basic thing to do is read. If reading books is a big deal for you, then you can start with a tabloid or a newspaper like Times of India. There are pictures in it to maintain your interest. Or you can pick up some fiction book like Chetan Bhagat novels or Harry Potter series. Don't hate me for recommending Chetan Bhagat out loud. If you have never read anything, then this might actually get the ball rolling. You can also read thriller novels by Sidney Sheldon or crime-centric novels by Agatha Christie. Read Paulo Coelho if you have a philosophical bent of mind. I won't limit my suggestions to books only. You can also watch animated movies like Kung Fu Panda or Despicable Me. One noticeable thing in such movies is that they are meant for children as well as adults. So the language used is very basic and clearly understandable. Even if they use any tough vocabulary, then the meaning would be contextually identifiable. Such movies are good for beginners to at least develop a habit of listening and understanding English. One universal tip which you must have heard multiple times is talk in English. I would go one step further. Even think in English. Your thoughts should be in English only. Make a habit of maintaining a diary every day and write the summary of your day's experience. Don't use SMS lingo in the diary. Many colleges have written aptitude test as a part of the interview process. You will have to develop writing skills as well. For technicalities of the language, I mean for grammar, you should follow Wren and Martin. It's an interesting book with lot of questions to practice as well. Now if you consider yourself at an intermediate level, you can read the newspapers like the Economic Times or the Hindu. If reading the whole paper is not possible, then you should at least read the editorial section of these newspapers daily. In books, you should go for authors like Salman Rushdie, Dan Brown, Khalid Husseini and Ayan Rand. You can also learn some English skills from TV series like Friends and Big Bang Theory. Don't waste too much time on it. It should be a part of your leisure time and should not eat your study time. You can also try to develop a taste for English songs. Focus on their lyrics. You may learn some new words. Passages in CAT come from a variety of topics. I know this data is old, but the ratio has not changed much. You will have to expose yourself to different variety of books on different topics. You can very well start with these books from the given topics. The good thing is that these books can be read by anyone. You don't have to be a philosophy expert to read Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance or a science expert to read a short history of nearly everything. Now, what if you don't have much time left for the exams? Or if work takes up most of your time? In that case, for a daily dose of reading, you should focus on blogs and articles. 
these are the six sources I trust the most. They have a wide variety of articles on different different topics in their archive. And most of those articles are equivalent to CAT in terms of the level of difficulty. Also, they will improve your general awareness simultaneously. Pick any two sources which suit you and follow them religiously. Make it a daily habit of reading a minimum of two to three articles. Most of the students have the problem of poor vocabulary. Even if direct questions are not there in CAT, poor vocabulary hinders in the understanding of the passages. You can start with Word Power Made Easy, which I feel is a well-written book on vocabulary. It focuses on root words and how you can learn 10 to 15 words just by learning a single root. Once you are done with Word Power Made Easy, then you can move to 30 days to a more powerful vocabulary. These two books complement each other and the second book would help you revise what you read in the first book. Then we have Mind the Gaff, which is my personal favorite. It focuses on the correct usage of words. So these were the books that I would recommend you to read. See where you stand and pick accordingly. Don't go out and buy all of them at once. These books are quite popular and there are chances that some of your friends already have them. For now, start with these and I will try to write a blog on what to read which will add some more books to the list. Thank you for watching. Thank you.